Are you tired of all the hype around AI, ChatGPT, and how these tools are supposed to help you get rich? Well, I've got some news for you. The real power of AI lies in its ability to make you money, not more content. And I've cracked the code on exactly how to do just that. Introducing my secret ChatGPT money code. In this one hour live training, I will show you how to unlock the power of AI to make real money. You've probably heard all the buzz about AI being used as a content creator, but let me tell you, that's just the tip of the iceberg. In this training, you'll learn how to leverage AI to make money in ways that you never thought possible. Think about it. AI never sleeps, it never gets tired, and it can analyze data at a lightning fast pace. And with this secret ChatGPT money code, you'll discover how to use AI to find profitable niches, create killer content that people will pay for, and automate your business so that you can make money even while you're sleeping. And the best part, you don't need tech skills or experience to get started. My secret ChatGPT get rich AI code is designed to be easy to understand and implement, even if you're a complete beginner. So if you're ready to unlock ChatGPT and AI to get rich online, smash that like button, cause we're starting right now. When I first started my business over 20 years ago, it was pretty difficult. I was trying to make money online, trying to figure out this whole internet marketing thing, and it seemed like the secret was all in copywriting, the kind of words you put on paper. And back then, before I actually started my online business, I was a magician, and this is actually what I look like. There you go, try not to laugh too much. But that's the actual ad that I ran in the Magic Magazines. And I ran an ad in the Magic Magazines that said, Magic Balloons, Comedy, and Fun. And it cost me about $170 to run this ad with my picture in it, right? And um, I was able to get like five or six different bookings for magic shows uh, kids' birthday parties and, and churches and things like that. And um, it was pretty good because I was like, okay, I'm spending 170, I'm making 600 to 900 dollars a month, sometimes even more, but I think I can do better. And little old magician Marcus actually called up a guy that was in the magic magazine who promised to get me more bookings. And he said, hey man, you know, I got this course about doing magic and, and making money with magic, and I've made as much as thirty thousand dollars a month with magic. And I was like, wow, I would like to make that kind of money. And yes, this does have to do with AI. Keep watching, very important. And I was like, yeah, I'd like to make that money, but I don't have any money to buy your course. So he said, okay, come on, listen to me. I'm gonna tell you what to change your ad to. And if it works, then come back and buy my course with the money you made. I said, hey, fair enough, that sounds great, right? And so he said, change your ad from Magic Balloons Comedy and Fun to make your child's party unforgettable. And little old Marcus over there realized that changing the ad from Magic Balloons Comedy and Fun to make your child's party unforgettable was the difference between five or six or even seven bookings a month and like 20 to 30 bookings a month or five times the income. And I was like, wait a minute, this is pretty crazy. And then I went like, crazy trying to learn all kinds of things about copywriting because I was hooked. I was like, wh why would just words on paper be the difference between like being able to make a good living and not? And so I started studying different things online about copywriting and understanding what's going on and why certain letters in certain magazines would make so much money. For example, if you were to take a look at some of these ads we have here, this one here is for the famous sea monkeys, right? made a bunch of money. I've actually become a collector of these. Here's another one that started a whole phone company business. And then another one here, which started the now Nerf business. And what we need to understand is that these people writing these ads make lots of money. There are people who write ads just like this. They change words on paper to make millions and millions and millions of dollars. Years ago, I interviewed someone who was a study, uh, he was a student of, I believe it was Gary Halbert. And he was talking to me about how he started this business and he ran ads online and in magazines and was able to make $77 million in a couple of years. And I thought, 
this is this is crazy i mean the most i'd ever made was a million dollars a year so these numbers didn't seem real to me and today fast forward you know i'm not that same person back then i was struggling i wrote my first sales letter in 2001 and it sucked it didn't make any sales it was terrible so what if i could show you a secret code today to use with ai to make this magic no pun intended happen what if i could show you a way to make that happen where you could sit there and you don't need copywriting skills you don't need to be like these nerf people going out there and saying hey wait a minute i need to get paid what am i going to write right and you look at this nerf ad and it's very clearly designed to go to the parents right not the kids because the kids aren't buying anything they're telling their parents to buy stuff which is important and that person got paid a lot of money and today what we're going to talk about ladies and gentlemen is exactly how this works i believe i've cracked one of the biggest codes when it comes to ai and that is understanding the market and creating something and ladies and gentlemen i got a secret for you that intro that you watched was created with ai more about that in just a minute. Let's talk about how this stuff works. I think we got a lot to go over today. We're gonna to go through this and understand exactly how everything works. But first, we need to have our coffee here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over this chat GPT code. We're gonna talk about how this is going to make you money. Now, if you're paying attention, this could change your life. Just like years ago, when changing an ad changed my life. Only, I didn't know how to write the ads. Best I could come up with was Magic Balloons Comedy and Fun. Now, over the last month, I have tried really hard to get ChatGPT to replicate those results. I've actually gone in and I tried to have it write my magic ad, right? I think it was down here somewhere where I said, write this ad for me. And you can see here, this is actually the copy from the intro, right? You can see here, this is the exact thing. I took out, hi there folks, because I'm not a country boy, right? I didn't want to have that in there, and I thought it was better just to start it straight away. And it was very interesting because I was like, wait a minute, this is actually as good as stuff that I've written. And ChatGPT is a robot. I'm a human who's been studying copywriting for the better part of 20 years. And by studying, I mean I'm kind of obsessed with it. Like I sit there and watch TV, and I, I get mad when, when my wife and kids skip the commercials because to me, that's my favorite part because I want to make money. Now, when we start to understand this, we can see that AI can actually craft things that are going to make money. Now, a lot of people think that the secret to AI is all in SEO content, email content, and video content. They think that AI's strong point is all about more content. How many of you guys, by show of hands, let me know in the chat box, smash a like button, tell me somehow if you think the internet needs more content, right? Are you like, hey, you know what? We need more puppy videos and we need more articles. That's what the internet really needs is more articles. No, I don't think so. And I think that people are really missing the point when it comes to the power of ChatGPT because ladies and gentlemen, you sitting right there can make money if you know how to prompt this correctly. In this training, we are gonna go through some prompts that I have, some of them that have never been revealed before, which are on this page here, right? And I'm gonna show you where to get all these prompts as well because I believe that the power of ChatGPT, the power of AI, Sure, it writes good content, and we're gonna have it do that because content brings traffic. But how many of you guys have used ChatGPT to make content, make videos, do all this stuff, and you're sitting there and you're wondering where the money is? And you're like, okay, where, when am I gonna get paid? I've been hearing about this ChatGPT stuff, and ladies and gentlemen, smash the like button if you're excited for this because I'm actually gonna show you how to sell a ClickBank product using the power of ChatGPT copywriting, all right? We got a lot to go over. I know there's a lot of videos you could go watch right now. This one is going to be the one that could possibly change your life if you understand exactly what we're doing here. All right, so now we have, yes, ChatGPT can make SEO content. We go through and I'm like, okay, great. Yeah, you know, I'm using ChatGPT all the time to rank for keywords. 
it works, right? I think we rank for like luxury SUV, we rank for a bunch of termite words, I've ranked for some make money words. We got sites ranking all over the place, they're getting traffic. But the problem is, how are we gonna make money with that? And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go through and say, well, I think what we need to do is focus on sales, okay? Very, very, very important. We are going to focus on sales because sales, unfortunately, because a lot of people hate sales. Now, I'm one of those weird people who's like, I love sales, I think it's great. I, I like helping people. And I think the reason most people do not like sales is because of the fact that they think salesmen are kind of sleazy. They think they're, they're not ethical. Now, when I talk about sales, what I'm talking about is helping people make informed decisions about products that are really going to help them. Very important because we look at this and we're like, okay, how can I turn these things into sales? There we go, I gotta move the pen, otherwise the mouse starts going crazy on me. All right, the pen actually acts as a mouse and you know. All right, so what we need to do is we need to focus on sales. Now, I've been playing around with ChatGPT for quite some time. I am going to give you some of the prompts that I'm gonna to use today. I'll show you where to get them. We'll have them copy and paste them and use them to your heart's desire. Now, when we look at this, what we notice is that ChatGPT does work really good for stuff like this, okay? I went through and I found out that there was a keyword, right? So if you go to your keyword tool like this, and you type in like how to clean, or maybe we could do something over here and do something like uh, best time or best day airline. Okay, best day to buy airline tickets or airplane tickets or whatever. Okay, I think it was best day, best uh, time, what was it? Best days to buy airline tickets. Yeah, what was it? Best day to book flights. That was it. Best way to book flights. There we go. All right, and we can see here that best day to book flights was actually a pretty popular keyword. It was like, okay, it's got some traffic there. 15,000 people a month. That means if 500 people a day, and I think, yeah, good, we are on the right screen. That means if 500 people a day are searching for the best time or the best days to book flights. Now, how many of you guys are like, okay, yeah, I could have ChatGPT write content for that, no problem super easy but marcus what about the money show me the money right show me the money because yeah anyone can get traffic that's easy what we need to do is we need to understand what to do with this okay so now i can go to chat gpt and i could say yes create me some content and ladies and gentlemen it did a fantastic job Booking a flight can be a daunting task. Finding the right deal can be even more. And it goes on and tells us everything about, hey, here's the best time for Delta. Here's the best time for this. Here's the best time for this, this, and this. Now, this is great because I could put this up on Facebook. I could make a video. I could do SEO. I could get traffic of people looking for, hey, I want to book a flight. When's the best time? Smash the like button if you're getting what I'm putting down here. Now. How do I then turn this into something that's actually gonna make money? And enter, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll please, smash the like button if you are ready, enter prompt number one. All right, so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna do prompt number one. All right, let's go over here. There we go. We're gonna go over here and we are gonna find prompt number one. Prompt number one is the Dan Kennedy style ad. Now, I went through and this is the test that I did, right? This is the one where we went through and talked about the magic thing, because I thought to myself, if I can reverse engineer what is going on over here, right? If I can reverse engineer this and go from magic balloons, comedy and fun, which made very little money, to make your child's party unforgettable, I think we're gonna be on to something. How many of you guys are excited and you're like, yes, I think we're on to something here. I think if we can, if we can trigger this, this is gonna be a big money maker and it's gonna be a heck of a lot of fun. So I went through and I said, since I know Dan Kennedy is the guy that the guy who told me the magic ad thing learned from, I knew, okay, yeah, he's pretty popular. I'm sure people know this guy and I'm sure AI knows this guy too. So what I said is rewrite this ad in the style of Dan Kennedy. Magic balloons, comedy, and fun. Your child is the star, call Marcus. So I went through and I, I, I kind of prompted and went on and said, okay, 
the first one was are you ready to create a memorable magical experience okay so it already without any prompting it said memorable which is close to unforgettable how many of you guys are like oh my god this is this okay I'm getting it because this word is what made the money I think I'm on the wrong camera here let's see this word this word right here this is what made the money okay how many of you guys are like that type unforgettable in the box type unforgettable in the comments if you're like okay I'm getting it this this okay this is making sense so we see that I already did it then I said you know what you wrote a whole paragraph I don't need a paragraph I need I need something better unforgettable party entertainment magic balloons comedy call Marcus now this is this is getting pretty good this is starting to be like this is what that guy told me that made me money all right how many of you guys are getting it smash the like button this this is going to change the way you do stuff now next I said now make it a statement because this was a statement make your child's party unforgettable boom statement done deal give me a call right very important it said experience unforgettable party entertainment with magic so it starts to get a little wonky and a little weird but I think with some ingenuity you can make money how many of you guys are believing this you're like okay I I get it you made money with this this is the same skill that I made money with for over 23 years I've put millions of dollars in my pocket as a solo act until now I got some employees now to help you guys with the stuff we got going on and I'm looking at this and I'm like okay if we can reverse engineer this this is the key this is the key right um, and Steve says right when you asked chat GPT to write in the style of Dan Kennedy did it reply I charge nineteen thousand dollars a day and that is what Dan Kennedy charged to write you a sales letter and now ladies and gentlemen Dan Kennedy is in this and then I went on and I asked it something more intriguing I said from the two ads I provided magic balloons comedy and fun make a child's party unforgettable what did we learn wait wait a minute Marcus are you saying are you saying that you can have chat GPT learn stuff you're saying you can have it exactly watch 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 what this is this is gonna get insane all right now it told me in terms of structure the ads use concise straightforward language and then it says to create a perfect an effective promotional message you need to talk about the benefits and everything like that so it's actually helping me learn then I said because ladies and gentlemen after I ran my magic business I also ran a company that got limousine services search engine rankings so I'd go out there I'd find limousine companies and I would say hey I'm gonna get you ranked on the search engines you're gonna make money we did a video on this uh, Monday you can see it in the description but watch this one first because you're gonna like it here and I was able to get these people customers and I wrote an ad now let's see how it did on that ad and then we're gonna talk about how to do this on your blogs even if you don't have an SEO company this is very very important okay so what I said was now using what we learned wait a minute you just told chat GPT to learn something and then it learned it and then you told it to use what it learned on the next thing yeah check this out it said rev up your limo business with high search now I thought that was a little bit cheeky as I gotta rev up your business you know that's like hey you know zoom into sales you know I was like that's a little weird so I said make it a little bit better and it said drive your limo business to success with our expert SEO and booking solution okay good then I said make it more like example number two of the ad you just learned about right this is like literally having a copywriter who has all the genius of people that pay lots of money or get lots of money charge lots of money only they don't know it so they charge nothing right they're sitting there and they're like it's like this okay this is the problem with AI here's a problem is sitting here and it's like gee I don't know what to do 
because I'm AI. I know all this stuff because I'm a, a genius, but I don't know that I'm a genius and I don't know what to do with it. And if you could teach AI what to do with what you want to, to get humans to respond to ads, ladies and gentlemen, you have a tool in your pocket. After watching this webinar, you will have a tool in your pocket that's going to walk you through and help you make money when used correctly. Now, disclaimer, are you going to go out there and just get rich overnight? No. The average person trying to make money makes nothing. The average person trying to make money also doesn't get what you're about to learn. Let's talk about this. So here we are. We're checking this out. We're like, yes, this is looking pretty good. And we're getting good ads. Then I went through and said, well, make me an email. Make me an email. I made me an email that I can send to limo companies and make this work. Okay. Then it went and tweaked it, and I had a little bit of test. Now, one of the things that I learned from Gary Halbert, who's another good copywriter, hint, this is coming up in just a minute, is using facts in marketing. Using facts in marketing. What kind of facts can I share with people that will make them buy stuff? According to the study, 90% of limousine companies use online marketing. There was another one that said online reviews. Online reviews and ratings are crucial to the success of limousine businesses, with 85% of customers trusting online reviews. That is something that'll sell. Now I can craft my ad and say, hey, with our SEO stuff, we also handle the online reviews, which are 80% of all this stuff. Right? Very important. So we're starting to look at this, and we're like, great, this is working. Now, we wanted, or I wanted, to take this a step further and say, well, great, Mark is fine. You got some magic shows. You sold some limousine companies, some stuff. But Marcus, oh buddy, oh buddy, what about me? What about you sitting there watching me? What are you going to do with this? How is this going to put money in your pocket? Well, get your notepad ready. Pay close attention and watch this two or three times. I'm not kidding. There's a lot of stuff you can watch. This will actually help you make money if used correctly. Smash the like button if you're digging it. So we're going to go through. And I said, all right, how about a sales letter? Could ChatGPT write a sales letter and not just any sales letter? So I crafted this. This is one of many prompts we're going to give you. I'll show you where in just a minute. Write a sales letter in the style of the guy or gal, Gary Halbert, for the product content at scale that automatically writes AI content and optimizes it for search rankings with table of contents, plagiarism checkers, and passes AI content test. So I don't really have to do a whole lot. I just say, hey, this is what the product does. Now write me something. Get ready. This is going to get crazy in just a minute because we're going to go through lots of these. I didn't even remember um, Sugarman. Sugarman would be a good one to use too. But we're going through, and we're like, OK, this is it. And remember, when I started my business, I was in this mobile home that got bulldozed. Like after we moved out of it, they bulldozed it. And that's, it's all history. But that's where I learned this skill. And you're learning it right now. So we're going to go through. And it says, dear fellow marketer, are you tired of spending countless hours? And it goes through and makes us a sales letter. Now, this is like an OK sales letter. But again, we need to understand some extra stuff. What we're going to do is we are going to look at the greats. OK, when we look at the greats, like Gary Halbert, we're looking at the structure of the letter. All right, let's look at the structure here. OK, here's the structure. This is what made money, right? He's got all this stuff here, bullet point, bullet point, ideas, facts, everything like that. Here's another one, right? How to make money with your credit cards. Notice the structure. Another one, notice the structure, right? Very important that we look at the structure. Now, I have said multiple times on webinars, on trainings, on these videos, that content structured differently can make you rich. And a lot of people think that, you know, 
make money online is new, but this is an ad from like the 20s. They also think that print on demand and everything's new. It's been around for a long time. That's what you're going to learn here. Now, I wanted to look at the structure. So we could say something like now add some features and facts as bullet points. Okay, and it's going to go through and it'll do this for us. Now notice here, features, AI powered content generator that produces high quality content at scale. Optimizes content for search engine rankings, increasing website traffic and engagement. Includes table of contents, it's very good. Then it gives me some facts, right? Very, very, very cool. So I could literally prompt AI to write in the style, uh, the style stale, of everyone, right? Anyone I want that has enough content online. So I went through and I said, well, what if we could do the same kind of thing, but use old Billy Mays, right? You remember Billy Mays? He's like the guy who sprayed the bottom of the, the boat and he's like, hey, this flex seal got me across the Nile or whatever it is. Great salesman. The guy was amazing. So I said, write a small ad to be shown on a blog post. Come on, come on up here. All right. We, we got to pay attention to this here. This is very, very important. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm prompting AI to note where the person came from. Okay, so in order to get this result, in order to get this result here, magic balloons, comedy, and fun, and flip it into make your child's party unforgettable, what do we need to know? Well, I need to know where this ad is being run. Am I going to put it on a billboard on I-5 in LA? Am I going to put it in the National Enquirer? Where am I going to put this ad? Well, I actually put this ad in the parenting magazine. So knowing that was key. And let's test it and see if this actually works the way that we're saying it, right? So when we go into the magic ad, where was it? There's one of these here. But when we go into the magic ad, we could actually go through and say, OK, how can we make this work for the parenting magazine, right? That would be key. And we'll try that in just a little bit. There it is. OK, here it is. Uh, write, now write the magic ad for the parenting magazine that helps parents with parenting uh, stuff, right? It'll go through and it'll write the ad. Um, actually. Did that just nail it? I mean, make your child's party unforgettable. Did, did that literally just nail it? And I think it did. And guys, I got to tell you, you might be watching this training. And you might be saying, Marcus, this looks too good to be true. This looks interesting. But does it actually work? How do I know that these words are going to make a difference? Well, it's made a difference in my life and millions of other lives. That's why copywriting is such an important task. So when we're going through, we're looking at this, and you are getting a skill with ChatGPT that could potentially make millions. Again, disclaimer, the average person makes nothing. The average person trying to make money online doesn't do anything. They don't make anything. They put five pieces of content out there and say, why am I not rich? This stuff don't work, right? Well, it does work if you actually pay attention. So let's keep diving in. When I go through, and I was saying, OK, the puppy course. OK, so this is one. I said, write a small ad to be shown on a blog post about taking care of a new pup. Wait a minute. So I could go out there and I could say, write this ad for this blog post that ranks for this keyword. It will get the intent, and it will make it work. So I went through and I said, OK, write the ad. It said, attention, new puppy parents. Are you struggling to train your furry friend? Blah, 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 blah. Good. And then I said, now write it. Need some coffee here. In the friendly, persuasive style of Billy Mays. Attention, pet parents. Are you tired of dealing with a new puppy who just won't listen? Do you feel like you're losing the battle against chewed up shoes, ripped furniture, and accidents all over the house? Well, have no fear because the solution to all your puppy problems is, I mean, how many of you guys are like, that'll sell? 
I can turn that into a video just like I turned the beginning of this training into a video from ChatGPT. That is something where if you had a video with this on your page, you have AI created or you do the work to create it yourself, this will sell. How many of you guys are like, that'll sell? And if you're not like, that'll sell, trust me, I've had billions of visitors to my websites, multi, multi millions of people watching my videos. I've made millions of dollars. I've made some mistakes in the beginning when I got a lot of traffic. I didn't understand this. I, I understood a little bit. But then when I got into paid traffic, I learned I need, if I'm paying for every visitor to my website, I need to convert this. And that's why I learned this skill. And now I'm kind of bummed out because this skill is now in ChatGPT. All right. So we're going through and I'm like, OK, now write in a persuasive style of Billy Mays. And it actually does the work for me. Right? Actually does the work for me. Now I go through and I'm like, OK, write the beginning of this webinar, right? And I, I went through and talked about how to write emails and everything like that. Now, I promised at the beginning of this training that we would actually try this on something live. How many of you guys want to see me try this on something live using this ClickBank product? How many of you guys are like, OK, if I could sell this ClickBank product, I think it pays $30 to $100, depending on what it is. It's called the Nano Towel. Right? How many of you guys are like, if you could show me how this works, how to sell this, I will watch every video you put out for the rest of your life. Now I got to pick that up. But anyway, how many of you guys are like that? Smash the like button if you're like, yes, this will be a game changer. This will be a game changer. All right, so here we got these nano towels. Cleans only with water, safe, healthy, green, economical. If you can learn how to write that better, or if you could teach AI how to write that better, you can make lots of money. So let's go through and take a look at what it actually did with the nano towels. So I said two things. I said, okay, could you make me a sales letter and could you make me a infomercial? Okay. Now, when we go through, we're going to look at this. I'm going to say, okay, I need a keyword. Okay. First rule of marketing. First rule of marketing, marketing 101 is, oh, where'd we go? I think we lost our camera there. Let's turn it back on. Gotta love tech stuff. This camera like overheats sometimes. I don't know. That's what you get for buying fancy cameras, Marcus. There you go. All right, we'll have to use the other one here. Okay, so the first rule of marketing, I think we're looking at this one here, is know thy visitor. Right? Know thy visitor. If you're going to do an infomercial, you need to know what people are watching on that infomercial. If you're doing a, a live training, you need to know what people are watching on the live training. There we are. The camera is back. All right. Fancy camera. You need to know who your person is. If you're doing the ad in the magic magazine or in the parenting magazine, you need to know who you're talking to. That is rule number one of copywriting. Now, the cool thing about this is all I got to do is tell AI what's going on, right? I'm like, hey, here's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a keyword that I think I could use to get lots of traffic that would be interested in the nano towels. Okay? That's our goal. That's our project. That's what we want to do. Now, I can get traffic anywhere. How to clean a TV screen, 24,000 visitors a month. Right? So I could go through and talk about how to clean a TV screen. I could go over to ChatGPT, and I could say, and, and one of the things we need to learn, too, is to kind of like rig the game in our favor and prompt this to think like us, but also like the copywriters in a very simple way. So we'll go through, and I'll say, um, write, let's see, we could use a little prompt here an article about how to clean a TV screen using paper, towels, and other items. Okay, So it's going to go through and it's going to write this. Now, I'm going to pretend that this is the best article on planet Earth or pretty good. Okay, that's actually not that bad. All right. So now what we have here is a loaded piece of content. Okay, now. I got a little confession to make. 
All right, let's go over to the, the confession box. All right, I got a little confession to make. And that confession is, is that whenever I write a blog post, make a video, any piece of content online, I rig the game in my favor by purposely loading it with stuff that I think will sell. Like if I find a keyword, how to clean a TV, I don't just want to make an article about how to clean a TV. I want to get paid, right? How many of you guys out there, you want to get paid and you're like, I want to get paid. That's what I want to do. I don't want to mess around. I want to get paid. And the way you're going to get paid is by creating this article with the purpose of selling a product. Creating content with the purpose of making the money. This is super important. 99.9% .9 of online would-be money makers miss this. They just create content because they feel like it. I never do that. I look at the data. So, and that, ladies and gentlemen, that's what ChatGPT and AI does. It looks at the data. So we're going to go through, and I'm going to make this piece of content loaded by saying paper towels. Now, I thought of that because I'm like, OK, what does this replace? This replaces paper towels. So I could go through and be like, hey, are you tired of wasting paper towels? Blah, 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 get these towels. But instead of blah, 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 ChatGPT is going to say some stuff that will make it sell. OK, so we're going to go through. And Drew says links are most important. Not necessarily. I think what's most important is the verbiage, right? Because if you have links and I have the right verbiage, I win. OK, very important. So we're going to go through and we're like, OK, here's our article on cleaning the TV with this. So we already got microfiber cloth. So now I could go through and I could say, great. Now, knowing the audience wants to clean stuff and not spend money on paper towels, they are going to throw away, throw away. Write an ad for the never throw away nano paper, nano towels, or whatever. Okay? This will go through and it'll write an ad for this. Now it does this ad. Now I can include this ad on my page. You might say, well, Marcus, isn't this going to ruin the SEO? Well, it might. It absolutely might ruin your SEO. But, but, but isn't that the whole point, Marcus? Don't you want to get rankings? Yes. So what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, come on up here. This is, this is another secret that I've learned from doing this since pretty much the dawn of time. right? I do have gray hairs if you look closely, which thanks to our new overhead hair light, they probably show better than ever. But at any rate, what I'm going to do, trick of the trade, is I'm going to make this sales letter. Ready? Ready, ready, ready? You're, you're going to love this. An image. I'll just take an image program. I'll snapshot this. I'll make it look pretty. And I'll put that image right there in the text. There you go. Pretty simple. And then I make the image clickable. right? So I would have a little blue link at the bottom that says click here to get the nano towels. Boom. That is going to get conversions. Now, I can also go through and say, now make it small enough to fit on a banner ad. Okay? Do I want a banner ad? There you go. So that would fit on a banner ad. Okay? Introducing never throw away nano towels, eco friendly and cost effective cleaning solution, our advanced nanotechnology, or whatever it is, right? Very simple. How many of you guys are getting this? Right? You're like, okay, this, this is making sense because now. I could literally take any keyword. Why isn't my dog eating? OK? So we could go through, create content about why isn't the dog eating. And then we could say, um, in the style of copywriter Gary Halbert, write an ad info. info I didn't, I, this is a new one. I'm learning as we're going along here, write an advertorial about why dogs don't eat, then talk about pet insurance and some of the costs of pet health care without insurance. 
and sell the insurance at the end for just $7 a month. Okay? Boom. Have you ever wondered why your furry companion sometimes tends to not eat? It's going to talk about it, and then it goes into pet insurance. Now add some benefit bullet points about pet insurance costs versus expenses and how much they can save. Boom. So we're going to go through, and now we're getting this, and we're like, oh, now I got something I can use. right? How many of you guys are understanding this, and you're seeing the power of, wait, this is AI's hidden money code. This is something that you could use for anything. You want to make your, your Facebook posts better? You can use this. Again, what we can do is we can take a list of these top copywriters, and we can say, write in the style of. Now, of course, you want to be ethical. Copywriting, you have to be ethical. You have to be ethical in everything. But copywriting, when you're talking about persuasive stuff, it's very important to always be ethical. Always make sure that it's not plagiarized. But we could go through and use these. We could say, now use the style of Joe Sugarman. I think that's how you spell it. Sugar man. There we go. Sugar man. No H. There we go. Right? And then it'll go through and it'll talk about this. And these people have cumulatively sold billions of dollars of product. So if I could go through and use billions of dollars of experience and have AI do what it does best, which is analyze immense amounts of data, right? When I was first learning, here's what I did, right? So this is what I did. I was first trying to learn copywriting. I was stuck. No one was teaching me anything. I, I didn't know what to do. I was like, how am I going to get this? How am I going to write a letter so people buy? Now, I was good at sales. I remember back then, I was selling computers. I, I had the, the single biggest sales day of custom computers sales ha uh, Staples had seen in history. All right, one day. We sold a bunch of computers, got them all the warranties and all the fancy stuff they told me to sell. And I was like, yeah, I know how to sell. Like, bring me someone I know how to sell. But when it comes to writing, I was not good. I'm not a good writer. You guys have seen the way I spell, and it's atrocious. You've seen the way I think, and it's like all over the place and jumbled and everything like that. But what if I had an aid? What if I had someone here that was like, hey, I know how to copyright. I've made millions of dollars a year. And I'm going to work for you for free. I'd be like, OK, you, you, you kidding me right now? Like, you're going to work for me for free and do all the stuff that I don't know how to do. All I need to know is how to prompt you. OK, very, 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 very important. So now we can go through and say, yes, I have this at my disposal. But when I first started, I would have to go to sites like swipe.co, which wasn't around back then. So you know what I did? Here we go. We have another confession time here. I don't know. Is the confession camera working? I don't know. It was working. We'll go to the other one. We'll go to this one here. There we go. Right? When I first started, uh, we didn't have big swipe files online. We had some, but not a bunch. Okay? And I had to go and get national inquirers. So I'd go every time I would get groceries. I would go and get a stack of National Enquirers, and I knew that the people who wrote National Enquirer paid a lot of money for those ads, so they had to convert. And that was super, super, super important. And like uh, Silbert said, they learned from Ben Savinga's uh, bullets, and, and his copywriting is great. That's another one we can put in here uh, as well. But when we start to understand that, wait a minute, this. Like, I know a lot of people talk about AI as a game changer, and it is in a lot of instances. And in a lot of other instances, it's scary. It's like, what's, what's going to go on? I mean, are people going to be out of jobs? I don't know. But if you learn this skill and you understand this, I believe that you can kind of get through whatever you need to get through because it's going to help you with that edge. Right? What we need is the edge. And that's what I needed back here when I was in the mobile home. And I was broke. And I was trying to do magic shows. And I was trying to learn this stuff. And now 
I don't have to look at a bunch of ads. I don't have to read all this stuff. I don't have to endlessly comb through these things and try to decide how to make it the way I want. I could literally take one of the best ads. I think, let, let's try this out. You guys want another example here? Okay, let's do this one here. Okay, this one here is, they all laughed when I sat down at the piano, but then I started to play. Okay, so I could go through and I could say, in the style of this famous ad, write an ad for reusable paper towel towel product nano towels okay let's see how it does they laughed when i grabbed the nano towel but when i started to clean are you tired of constantly buying disposable paper towels that only end up in the trash well say goodbye to wastefulness and hello to the future of cleaning with i mean how many of you guys are like uh i think a lot of copywriters are not going to be happy about this because that's something that, I mean, you might have paid $2,000 for something like that. How many of you guys are getting this? Smash that. We, we should be at like five bazillion likes. Uh, why don't I use ChatGPT4? It's a little limited and slower. Um, and I just didn't click it. I don't think it makes a difference here. Like, I don't really think you're going to get that much different of an output. You could try it. I mean, no harm, no foul, right? But now we're starting to understand. Hey, I can make this work. And when we start to look at this, let me see here. ClickBank Nano Towel Affiliate Program. Um, let's see. I'm not sure where I would have to log in to see it, but I think it pays like $80 uh, per sales or whatever. Yeah, Anthony, another one, John Capels. And we could go through and use all these things and make it work in a very, very simple way. And this, if you get the idea that I'm thinking of, um, this would work really good on social media, right? It's like, okay, that, that would work. I see that as a thumbnail. Um, and you could even just put, instead of just take Nano out. I'm a big fan of not using the product name in the headline. Steve says Dave D would be proud of me. Yeah, exactly. That's the guy who I learned uh, the magic ad from. And uh, I thought that was important and that literally changed my life understanding the difference between this stuff, I was able to go through and say, hey, now write me a, a pet insurance one or, or a nano towel or whatever it is. And I, now I can say, now adapt this to people looking to clean their fridge. Okay, And it'll literally adapt it for whatever you want. And this is important because a lot of people, when it comes to online marketing, they use a one-size-fits-all approach, and this is why they don't make money. They have blogs with multiple posts. They get lots of traffic, and they use the same exact banner ads on every page, every post. No, 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 no. You want custom stuff. If you have a blog post that's getting 1,000 visitors a month, you need to maximize those 1,000 visitors by talking to the person directly, by understanding, hey, I can make content that is going to speak to exactly what they want. Uh, Trevor says, would that ad go within the content like between paragraphs? Excellent question. Let's, let's, let's address that. So if we were to go through and take a look at our TV cleaning guide. Okay, so if we have our TV cleaning guide, which is right here, okay, I would probably have, I would go through and say, um, I, I would go through and say, make a short ad on why nano towels are better than microfiber. Boom. That, so this here, I'm going to stick right under microfiber cloth. Now, I'm going to do this as an image. That way, it doesn't affect my content. Right? That way it's like, boom, there we go. Now when it talks about distilled water, okay, maybe I could sell like a distilled water thing, but I, don't, I think that's a stretch. Right? We don't want anything that's too outlandish. Like if I'm talking to you about making money with ChatGPT and getting rich with ChatGPT and AI, 
you're not going to want like my tips on how to ride your bike to work. Nobody cares about that. You're here for a specific reason. So I don't think I'd go too outlandish. This one here. So like this, we start to think different and we could say, how much does the average US household spend on paper towels each year? Okay, so um, the average household spends around $40 on, man, I spend way more than that. I think we're getting paper towels all day. Maybe we're doing so. Maybe I need the nano towels. But at any rate, we're looking at this and we're like, okay, we can find facts. Um, I think this is actually talking about per time or something, maybe. I don't know, like those big packs or whatever. Costco, you're like, hey, yeah, I got the pack that doesn't even fit in my house, but it was $4 each, right? Um, but we could go through and we could make this work in a really simple way. There, there's another one. It talks about streaks. Uh, we could do clean windows, right? Um, how to clean windows, and I would just I would just put clean windows, isolate that. Uh, how to detail your car, right? This would be perfect. So you could say uh, now adapt it for someone detailing their car. Okay, now adapt the ad for someone detailing their car. Okay, and we're starting to look at that. And we're like, yeah, that feels like me. We, we get a lot of paper towels. I don't know. We just spill lots of stuff. Um, attention car enthusiasts want to keep your car looking pristine. So I would just get rid of this. Uh, I mean, I could put that there. But again, like when I'm doing this, let me see if I can do this here. I'll show you what this would look like. And then you can, sh you can see exactly how to put this on your blog. Just give me one second here. Open up a product. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use something like Snagit, and I'll just do File, New. And then what I'm going to do is I, a average blog is about 980 wide, if you include the borders and stuff. Then I can go through and say, okay, how tall do I want it to be? Let's say 200. We'll do white since background on my blog is white. And then all I need to do is take this, get some text, okay? Get rid of all this fancy stuff here and make it nice and small, right? So then I can go through and take my text like this, attention car enthusiast. I'm just gonna do keep your car looking pristine without spending a fortune on cleaning products. Then I would do like that. And then we don't need a whole lot of the other stuff because, um, let's see, Control Z, cleaning towels today. Yeah, so we would just do a little banner ad like this, fancy it up. And what I usually do is I'll do this in bold, right? We want to get, we want to get clicks. That's the key. Attention car enthusiast. Then I will do this. And I put, get your nano towels today. All right, and then this, we're going to make it super easy. A lot of people are like, Marcus, your sites are so simple. That's the point. I mean, I know they look outdated, but that's what converts. I'm, I'm going to keep doing what converts until it stops converting. And so far, it has not. And I found that red gets attention. Blue underline gets a click, right? So we're just going to make this super simple. And we can even make it a little bit bigger. Again, remember, it's our blog, so we can make the banner size whatever we want, right? And we're going through here, and it's like, there you go. How many of you guys are like, yeah, that on a blog post would get some clicks? And that literally took me 25 seconds to make. How many of you guys are like, this is the key? Um, I didn't get rid of it because attention does grab attention, so that can work. Um, or, you know, you could try it without. But I, I do like it with that. I did change my mind on that. So there you go, right? And then you could put a picture of a car or whatever. But now that you're understanding how this works, it's like, wow, I could use ChatGPT to get the intent of what these people are looking for, right? And then there we go. Or let's say you're doing a video. And one of the things that I've gotten really good at, I remember uh, years ago, I was doing a video with my buddy Nick. 
And um, Nick was, he had me on his video, he has a big following. And this is back when I was first starting to do a lot of YouTube stuff. And he was like, oh my gosh, dude, you got 10% of the people who watch the video to go to our website. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I do. And he's like, I've never gotten that many people to go to a website. And he was astonished at how much money it made. Um, and it was all in what we said. And that was super important. And if you watch again, again, watch this video several times, because in the beginning, that was made by AI. Now, I did tweak it a tad bit. OK, I, I like I took out a couple things. I added a little bit, but we were to able to make it in a simple way. Now, Kieran says, would you make the whole banner clickable or just the whole thing's going to be clickable because it's going to be an image? Yeah, it's all going to be clickable. OK, uh, can you try and including neuro-linguistic programming into the copies, asking chat GPT to write in the style of Bandler and John Grinder. Well, um, I don't know if they are popular enough. They might be. But I think if you ask it to write in the style of Richard Bandler, which if you've listened to his stuff, some of it is like, yeah, I don't want it that way. But you could say, learn from the, the hypnotism style or whatever it is, and then write. Um, I would actually think that if you're looking for that, I would say, now write in the style, in the hypnotic writing style of, uh, what's his name? Joe Vitale. This is the guy who's popular for making, or he, he made the the secret popular so this will kind of do that there picture this your car glimmering in the sun and the envy of all who's seen it you're not just so that would make that now if you said now in the style of richard bandler okay um i don't know how it would do it doesn't look like it changed a whole lot Right, but we were trying different things like simplifying language. If you want to simplify language, you could put uh, Donald Trump in there, right? That'll simplify it now in the style of Donald Trump, uh, because he has a very. I think a lot of the the way people listen to him is because his speech is very simple to pay attention to. Um, these towels are not just any towels; they're the best towels. They're tremendous. They're incredible. And so it does, believe me, nobody cleans better than me, but these towels come pretty close. It actually does a really, really good job of this. And now we can understand that we can use ChatGPT and AI to unlock the secret of getting money online, which is writing the ads that make the money. And when you start to understand this, we can use all these prompts in a super simple way, right? You could go through and use them like this one here. I'll give you this one live on the screen. It's write a sales letter in the style of salesperson copywriter for the product, describe the product to an audience searching for, put the keyword in there. And we start to understand exactly what's going on. And, and this is really going to be a game changer because now you don't have to pay copywriters and, and stuff like that. Now, are there still going to be a place for them? Of course there will. But once we understand that this will do the job for us, Right, and, and it even goes further. I'm going to have these prompts over at downloadtomynotes.com. And if you guys like my stuff and you want to join and, and learn from me each and every week live where you could ask direct questions, get help on your specific stuff, check out blogprofitnetwork.com. But to take this a step further, we could even go through and say, now write a salesy TikTok script for an ad about these towels right and it'll go through and it'll do the job for us and again this is something where let's say you wanted to um, <clears throat> sell these nano towels let's say you wanted to make a hundred thousand dollars a year with these or something like that and I do believe again results not typical implied or guaranteed but I do believe that this is something where there are people making $100,000 selling stuff like this or, or software or tools or whatever it is or cleaning stuff. There's so many things out there, even CPA offers. This works for literally everything. But you could go out there and you can, you can clean different things and have ChatGPT write the call to action at the end. Right? You could say, um, now 
write it as a five second call to action at the end of a tick tock video where I clean car vents or whatever, okay? And I will say upgrade your cleaning game and never throw away nanotels again or today. And you could say now in the style of Joe Sugarman. Now in the style of Joe Vitale or whoever it is, right? I think there was a David Ogilvy, David Ogilvy, right? And it'll go through and it's going to do this in a simple way. And you can prompt it to where you're getting the end result that you want. Now shorter, please. Right, and it'll go through, upgrade your cleaning game and everything like that. And it'll literally help you do this stuff in a real world way. Now there are some things you need to learn about how to prompt and knowing what is best. I think the best way to do it would be put all of your thoughts and emotion aside and look at what you would respond to or split test them. Right, you could go through and test add one versus add two, see what works. Try this one on this video, this one on that video. Test. The key to advertising and making money online is knowing your metrics, knowing what it costs to get a customer, knowing what it costs to get someone to click an ad, knowing what it costs to, to get this, and knowing what you're making. So even if you're doing uh, free traffic, right? If you're getting free traffic from the search engines, you need to know how to convert that in a very simple way. And when you understand that AI and ChatGPT can make you rich if you focus on the right type of stuff. If you're focusing on getting it to speak in a way that will get people to click, that'll get people to keep watching, that'll get people to keep doing this. If you're doing videos, right, you could rewrite your video script in the style of the guy in your niche that gets more traffic, the guy who gets more stuff. You could go out there, if you're doing blog posts, you could say, hey, I want to write in this way, right? And, and, and when you study this stuff, like the world that I came from, when I had to learn it back in the old day, right? I came from the world where you had to read ads. We, we learned from infomercials. We learned from commercials. We learned from National Enquirer ads and all this other stuff. Um, and if you guys smash a like button, I might just test an ad for you guys from ChatGPT in one of those in one of those things to see how it goes. But I think if you understand how this works, it unleashes everything, right? We could go out there and start creating advertisements that get results. And when I started to learn this, it was it was difficult. It was almost impossible. We had to test. Like when I did that magic ad, I had to spend $170, which back then may as well have been 10 zillion dollars cuz I didn't have it. But I'm like, I'm going to take a risk because that's what I'm going to do. And I spent the 170 and it took two months for the ad to come out. So I had to wait two months before I even knew that the ad was actually going to show up in the newspaper. And then I had to say, well, I hope that people call. And you know what? When I first did my ad, a couple of people called. And I was happy. I was like, OK, cool. If I can get my 170 back, it's a learning lesson that I didn't have to pay for. And then I went through and I'm like, OK, let's try this other ad this, this Dave guy says to run. And I did that and I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. Like now I'm getting to where it's making more money. The ad costs the same amount. It ran in the same magazine, yet now I'm making way more money. Why? Words on paper. And Gary Halbert always said that the most powerful force in the universe is words on paper. And it's interesting because. It really is. I mean, have you ever gotten a letter of bad news or happy news? Yeah, or you get one of those things in the mail that's like, hey, you won. And you're like, did I win? And then they're like, no, but if you buy this stuff, you might win. And you're like, damn it, that sucked, right? And you start to look at that, but it got you to open. And that is what was the key back then. Companies, banks, stores would pay millions and millions, billions cumulatively every year for people to write ads for them, right? That ad that cost X amount, well, you look at the Super Bowl, right? Do you know they pay more to create the ad than the ad actually, oh, Marcus, you don't understand. It's $5 million a minute. Yeah, what do you think it costs to get the guy to come up with that? A lot of money. 
And if you can understand that, hey, ChatGPT is like the craziest data analyst on planet Earth, and it will analyze data to give you facts that will convert your audience into dollars and big dollars. I'm talking big dollars. Very, very important. Uh, Top says, I was always taught that word of mouth is the best advertisement. That's what the network marketing companies have taught us. And it is, like if I go tell someone, hey, I went and got my hair cut over here, they're gonna go get their hair cut over there because I said it, but it's limited. Word of mouth is always limited unless you go viral, but that's a different story and ChatGPT is going to help us do that. Uh, Sobird says, knowing the right prompts changes everything. Absolutely. Can you do the Google ad test with a single page lander like on your sites? Yes, we have a lot of tests that are in the works, so it's gonna be really, really good. Um, and if you start to understand that here on this channel, we teach you stuff that actually works based on data, based on stuff that I've been doing for most of my life, right? For the better part of my life, I've been immersed in marketing and immersed in understanding this stuff. And I believe that sharing it with you is going to help us all as a whole, as a community. And, you know, I just share whatever I can because I think this will help you. And when you get results, come on over to blogprofitnetwork.com and join and I'll help you out. If you want the prompts from this video, we're gonna have a big list. They're not ready yet, but if you go there, I will email them to you. Um, downloadmynotes.com, I'll be sending out um, a list of some of these prompts. And when you start to understand, okay, I can have it write me headlines or intros or um, whatever it is, and, and, and it will understand the intent, I think that it's very, very important. And like Anthony says, ad agencies are cash printing machines. They are. Ad agencies make so much money, it's not even funny. It's not even, I mean, it's crazy. And when you understand that advertising is such a huge industry, and now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you understand what you just got. If you understand it, smash that like button. Because if you understand what you just got, it is something that other people are charging way, way lots of money for. I mean, I've, I've paid $10,000 for courses that didn't teach me what you can do with ChatGPT based on what you just learned right now. And if you appreciate that, smash the like button, check out downloadmynotes.com, join blogprofitnetwork.com, and we will see you in the next training.